This video does not condone the use of performance enhancement drugs, and the information provided here is solely for educational purposes only. Hey there, brothers. Once again, Larry at your service, giving you everything you need to know about anabolic steroids. In this video, I will share with you the most important information about the anabolic steroid nandrolone. Nandrolone is also known as 19 nortestosterone. It is an androgenic and anabolic steroid which is used in the form of esters generally known as decadurabolin and NPP. Later, I will discuss to you the features and differences between these two esters. So, what is nandrolone used for? It is used in the treatment of certain diseases such as anemia, osteoporosis, and breast cancers. Its positive effects include muscle growth, appetite stimulation, increased red blood cell production, and bone density. But apart from its medical uses, nandrolone is also used for physique and performance enhancing purposes by competitive athletes, bodybuilders, and power lifters. Arnold Schwarzenegger has always considered decadurabolin as his favorite steroid. So, my dear friends, how is nandrolone administered into the body? Well, nandrolone is not taken by mouth and instead is given by injection into the muscle or fat. For optimal results, I advise you to take the safe dosage of about 200 to 600 milligrams a week in every cycle for 4 to 12 weeks. For women, however, you may inject 25 to 50 milligrams a week in every cycle. Remember guys, it is important to properly protect yourself and take all necessary precautions when using nandrolone. Running an aromatase inhibitor such as Arimidex or Aromacin ensures that you are properly protected when cycling with any ester or nandrolone. Speaking of esters, I am now going to introduce to you the two types of nandrolone. Nandrolone decanote, also known as decadurabolin, and nandrolone phenopropionate or NPP for short. Decadurabolin and NPP provide the same benefits of impressive gains in muscle size and strength while recovering more efficiently post-workout. However, there is a difference in how long it will take to start seeing those results depending on which one you use. NPP is a short-chain ester while Decadurabolin is a long-chain ester. With the shorter ester, you will see less side effects and water retention, and results will arrive faster. On average, users of NPP will see size gains within two weeks or less, while those taking Decadurabolin will have to wait about a month. The pros of using Deca instead of NPP is that you will have to pin less often, and since you will be bulking anyway, the extra water retention shouldn't bother you. I suggest that you pick the type which best matches your lifestyle and your goals. I recommend you use NPP if you want to compete and don't want your test to show up positive, while you go for Decadurabolin if you are just a recreational user and want to pin less often. Decadurabolin is predominantly used for bulking purposes. However, since it only builds a moderate amount of lean muscle, it is often cycled with other more potent anabolic steroids such as Anadrol and Dianabol. Decadurabolin will also help you gain a lot of strength. Kimbo Slice is famously on DECA year-round. DECA or NPP is best stacked with testosterone, as testosterone will enhance your sexual desire as nandrolone is lessening it, so it could counter each other. Also, to increase the effect of mass gain, I suggest stacking nandrolone with Dianabol or Anadrol along with testosterone. Also, do not forget to take your Arimidex while you're on Nandrolone. Recommended dosage of Arimidex is 1 mg a day 7 days after your first shot and take Arimidex to the end of your cycle. Having mentioned all the positive effects of Nandrolone, I will now orient you with the side effects from the use of the steroid and on how each user can limit experiencing its side effects. The side effects of nandrolone include symptoms of masculinization like acne, increased hair growth, voice changes, and decreased sexual desire. In fact, nandrolone is typically one of the hardest compounds to recover from as it can shut users down very harshly and can linger in the system for an extremely long time. That is why users who plan on using it should cycle on and off and on your off cycle, you should do an extensive PCT. PCT or post-cycle therapy is a period of medication treatment that follows the use of performance enhancers. 
a substance like nandrolone will result in 100% suppression of natural production after a single 100 mg dose. With NPP, I would wait at least 7 days before beginning my PCT. If I use Decadurabolin, which is based on a longer ester chain than NPP, I wait a full 14 days before beginning my PCT. Your PCT should consist of Clomid at 50 mg every day for two weeks, Nolvadex, also known as Tamoxifen, at 10 mg to 20 mg a day for two weeks, and HCG injections for one week. All right, guys, this has been your friend Larry once again giving you this advice to regularly consult health professionals in considering the use of anabolic steroids. Till my next video. <laughs> Oh, 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 oh,